And we are live. Hello, everyone. Thank you for saying yes and taking time to be part of this Global Virtual Coaching Summit Part 2, brought to you by the Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneurs that is based in Dallas, Texas, USA. This talk is a response to the original material of Master Coach A on COVID-19 ROI or Return of Insights. You may watch the replay of the Said Copy Hanide episode at Coach A YouTube channel. I am change agent Lynn Garcia. I am a registered electrical engineer, an occupational safety and health practitioner, and a certified life coach. As a coach, I help young professionals to increase their career competency and improve their focus in achieving their goals. I also believe that time was created for the purpose to be fulfilled. That's why um, kapag may mga encounter ako or working with clients, I I always emphasize yung value of what you are doing right now. Um, kasi, di ba, sa, sa kabisihan ng buhay natin, sometimes we are losing yung yung um, steps or yung mga direction natin or yung focus natin in achieving the goal or in achieving yung bagay na gusto nating maging tayo. So, whatever you're doing right now, what is important is connected siya to whom you really want to be in the future. Okay? Para hindi sayang yung oras natin. And dapat nag-complement yung mga ginagawa natin ngayon sa gusto nating maging sa future natin. So, here's a very common question but really hard to answer. How are you today? I hope that whatever you are, uh, whatever situation you are in right now, I hope that after watching this video, you will feel great and empowered. Sana po makatulong po sa inyo yung presentation natin today. And as mentioned earlier, this video is a response to Master Coach A's COVID-19 ROI. But to set the expectation, we are not going to talk about the virus. What is important now is how are, uh, is for us to learn or understand how are we going to react and how can we protect our mental health and inner peace sa ganitong situation. So, a few days ago, I posted this sa Facebook page ko. So, that's my Facebook page, Coach Lynn Garcia. And may, may two questions ako for, for my friends and dun sa uh, followers sa page. First is, what is your current situation and how this situation changed you and your life? Kasi we need to understand ano ba talaga yung nangyayari ngayon. Baka we're distracted lang ng noise sa paligid natin, yung mga nakikita natin. Pero ikaw mismo, kamusta ka? Ano yung current situation mo? And paano tayo nagre-react about that? Number two is, if there is one mindset that can help people in times like this, what can you share? Yan, for example, may mga nakausap ka, ano yung mga pwede nating ma-share. And I have this, um, ilang mga comments na nilagay ko lang dito. So first from Annex, I uh, just want to highlight yung pinakasinabi niya na health is really wealth in circle of life. Parating naririnig pero di sinusunod. Marahil na sanay na tayong walang nararamdaman ay okay tayo. Okay? So for Vince naman dito is yung importance ng family na before daw wala silang uh, hindi siya nakakasama sa kanila so ngayon meron na siyang more time to spend with family then for joy mas na appreciate ko yung buhay na realize ko mar- uh, marami akong blessings kahit maraming challenges nagkaroon ako ng time sa sarili ko sa pamilya ko at mag-reflect sa mga nangyayari sa buhay ko mas focus ako ngayon sa mga bagay na importante so highlight natin yon pag sinabi natin importante ikaw uh, Ano ba yung mga bagay na importante sa buhay natin ngayon? Then, sabi niya na appreciate ko ang simpleng buhay at pwede pa pala mangyari yun. At kaya ko pala magtipid at marami pala akong naiipon. Uy, marami ipon. <laughs> then, eto, hindi ko nalagay yung name niya, but this is from Jenny May. Uh, mahaba yung realization niya, mahaba yung uh, insights niya, sobrang tago sa puso. Pero this one yung I want to highlight. Baka, baka rin kasi eto rin yung pinagdadaanan mo ngayon. O, oh, baka relate ka sa kanya. Sabi niya, wala akong savings. Hindi ako prepared financially. Dito ko na-realize, ah, dito ko na-realize yung value ng pag-iipon, investing and all. Dito ko naisip na sana, pinili ko na lang umuwi nung pinapauwi na ako ng pamilya ko habang pwede pa at makasama sila. Hindi masamang maging loyal sa work 
But remember to always choose family over work. So, yun yung hugot niya kasi that time, uh, she's working, tapos biglang may declaration, tapos yun, nung nag-declare na wala nang, uh, wala nang available na sasakyan, pa-uwi ng Laguna. So, ngayon, she's currently staying dun sa um, bahay ng boss niya. So, buti na lang, uh, mabait yung boss niya, na-adapted siya. So, yun. Yun yung, yun yung background ng sa situation niya. And then, for Devi, sabi niya, Hi, Coach Lynn. Paano ba ako binago ng situation? Ang pinakauna talaga na isip ko ay kung paano mag-budget ng kakainin. Lalo't mga bata yung kasama ka sa bahay at kung paano rin nila maintindihan yung nangyayari ngayon. Oh, so, yung yun yun man yung sa side niya. How am I going to explain ito yung etong situation ngayon dun sa mga pamangkin niya? Then, tapos, yung pagbili dahil walang public transportation, ni talaga mag-bike para lang makapunta sa bayan na kailangan na lang talaga i-enjoy para mar- hindi maramdaman yung pagod. So, yun siya. So, instead na mag magalit kasi malayo, so, e-enjoy mo na lang daw. So, yun, yung, yun naman yung insight niya. And again, yung dito, kung mabasa nyo, yung sa social media, uh, naging mapanuri na rin daw siya. Ayan, tapos hindi nag-share ng negative. So, yun. So, ang, ang maganda naman dito is, um, kahit ganito yung situation na na-experience natin, ay naging uh, positive pa rin yung outlook. So, eto, yung next, etong next slide na to is kumuha lang ako ng part dun sa iba pang mga comments. So, yung first na nakuha ko dun is hindi lahat na madadaan sa panic. Natuto ako magluto kasi, ayun, hindi kasi ako marunong magluto. Make yourself productive. Natuto ako na laging mag-communicate, mag-update sa pamilya ko, pray more. Ayan to daw, nakakapaglakad. Ako, pag namamalengke, na-exercise ako. Diba? So, good thing din siya. So, lahat ng nangyayari ng may dahilan, dapat may time sa family, friend, at sarili. Ngayon, kilala ko ng ating Panginoon at naging mapagmahal ako sa pamilya. Health is really wealth in circle of life. Tapos, ito ay, sa isang iglap, bigla tayo nagkaroon ng limitation sa mga bagay-bagay na halos na wala ng value ang mga material. I became more concerned with my health and well-being. We are all busy making dreams possible and forget about ourselves. So for this one, be grateful for those people who are working tirelessly for our safety despite putting themselves in danger. Then we lost and already forgot the essence of time and the opportunities God has given us. Then I have appreciated things that we hated most like traffic, commuting, and everything we hated in our daily living. So, ayun, meron pang nagsabi dito yung sariwa ang hangin ngayon, nabawasan ng pollution, dulot ng usok ng sasakyan at pabrika. So, ayun, marami pang mga comments. If you have time, I encourage you na na-visit yung post na yun, yung mga comments nila. And, ayun, interact with each other din. Tapos, if you have something to share, feel free to share lang dun sa community natin. Now, ano naman yung one mindset that they can share? So, number one na, ah, no, not Number one, pero ilan lang, random lang to sa mga nakuha ko dun sa comments. Cooperation. Tapos, this next comment, it's from, um, ito ay from a nurse na perspective. It's not up to the government or us, yung, kasi nga nurse siya, the medical workers, on how we can pull through the situation. Each of us needs to play a role in flattening the curve. In order to serve others, value yourself first. Set aside our differences, trust, on, trust and obey the authorities as they were placed by God, appreciate life, keep the faith, appreciation of work and company, value the life that you have, be thankful in everything that we have, um, salute sa, tiwala sa government, frontliners and doctors, keep going, appreciate and enjoy the little things tulad na lang ng pagdidilig ng halaman, Uh, ito, yung iba nga doon nakapag-garden na. Caring for our aging parents, playing with pets, etc. Next is stay calm. Pagkalmado ka, makakapag-isip ka ng tama. And then, next is push button of a new life. So, yun. Ang dami nila mga comments, ang dami mga insights, mga realizations, and yun nga. Ang maganda kasi positive yung outlook, ito yung situation, pero yung response natin is still, we are protecting pa rin yung kung sa yung magiging reaction natin. Ha? Um, paano natin siya titignan. Okay? So, yung next is, what am I going to share to you today is finding rest in time of unrest. Um, 
yung pinaka-point is, ayan, yung video intends to make uh, you or us realize that even though the situation right now or the situation that we are in is not easy, but we can still experience stress. Yes, it's still um, possible. So, hindi, hindi porke nas dito tayo sa unrest, ito yung situation natin, wala na, lahat tayo daw na. So, it's still possible to find rest. Pero, how? Yun yung question natin. How? So, how to find rest in time of unrest? So, my only answer for this is trust the process. Why? Kasi wala tayong control in everything na. So, all we need to do is to trust the process. Pero, yung nilagay ko kasi dito is not yung pinaka-trust the process lang. I have action items on how can we cope or how can we find rest in time of unrest. So, ito yon. So, we have um, five. T-R-U-S-T. So, for T, we have dito yung take care of yourself. Then, R, remember to focus on the positive. You understand the point of view of other people. And then, S, seek long-term peace. And then, yung or the last one, the last letter, um, take responsibility. So, for each letter, ayan, for each letter nito, I have prepared na mga simple activities na pwede natin ma-practice para ito yung maging guide natin and to ensure na maroon pa rin tayong rest sa ganitong situation. So, yung first is take care of yourself. Sabi natin, self-care is self-love. And again, ito pa ulit-ulit natin sasabihin, it's okay not to be okay. So, your relationship with yourself sets the tone for every re- other relationship you have. If you are really dedicated to your job, so for example, you're working, um, before kasi di ba kung, kung working ka, tapos anda, uh, ikaw yung pinakabising tao na hindi ka na maabala, ang daming commitments, ang daming schedule, yung planner, punong-puno. So, dun ka na, dun ka na nakafocus. Tapos biglang ngayon, um, nawala siya. So, sabihin natin, you're uh, naka-work from home ka, pero di ba, ang laki nung naging difference na. Pa, uh, so, mararamdaman mo talaga yung difference. And, um, yung ibang mga nakausap ko, may mga realization sila na they feel na yung yung job nila, yun, daw yung mga, yung, yun na yung naging buhay nila. Pero di nga, kaya ko din binasa and kaya ko shiner yung mga comments kanina na posted on Facebook is for us to see na, ah, okay, so ito pala yung iba-ibang perspective din. So, ganito din yung nangyari dun sa ibang tao. Yun, sabi nga nung isa kanina na, yes, okay daw na, ah, uh, prioritize yung work, pero syempre yung family, mas ano din natin, mas important din siya. Pero eto, uh, in taking care of yourself, whatever commitment you have, um, dapat hindi natin kakalimutan na unang alagaan is yung sarili natin. Kasi di ba sinasabi natin, you cannot give it what you do not have. Now, ang pinaka pinag-uusapan natin ngayon ay health. So what if focus ka sa work or focus ka sa kung saan man yan, bigla ka nakasakit or hindi ka nalagay productive, sino mag-take care sa'yo? Um, paano ka pa makakapag-serve sa iba kung ikaw mismo mag- may sakit na? Or dahil kasi napabayaan mo yun sa sarili mo, di ba? So, yun dito naman sa statement na it's okay not to be okay. Yes, kasi we are all human. May mga emotions tayo, may mga pinagdadaanan tayo. Pagka pumasok yung hormones, ibang usapan pa rin siya. So, acknowledge lang natin. And etong isa dito na nilagay ko, it's an ex- 